is also around ESCOM is governance. Now, you're a deputy CEO of ESCOM, and some people have said the problems we're seeing at ESCOM are attributable to people like you, the post-1994 managers who some people say lack the vision, lack the political will. Do you feel culpable in any way? I feel very proud of the role that I played uh, when I was with ESCOM. I joined ESCOM in 1991 and I was part of the uh, team that drove transformation. I worked with some of the greatest corporate leaders, some of the greatest uh, as executives in ESCOM. Uh, it was a, an, a, a model organization, uh, both for the public as well as the private sector. Uh, we foresaw uh, the need uh, to bring back plant to build power stations and all that because we had strategic foresight. We also had uh, capacity in terms of engineering. I was once also a head of HR. We invested a lot in human resources development. We invested a lot in research. Uh, and we led the world. We are amongst the best of the best in the world in terms of technology. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, I am very, very proud of the legacy that we had left of course, we know that uh, there have been some decisions we learned were made which created the setbacks that have been experienced. Mm -hmm. It's not mine uh, to offer either criticism or comment as far as that is concerned, mm -hmm. but there's, moment, there's a point at which momentum was broken. Mm -hmm. You must never forget with large corporations such as that, that uh, the decisions you take today will affect people who would be running the entity or benefiting or not from the entity in the next 20 to 30 years. So uh, I, I think that uh, um, uh, something has got to be done. It's a great opportunity right. for ESCOM uh, to rebuild right. itself. You've got a lot of expertise mm. working within the state-owned enterprises sector, which many people see as dysfunctional. What's your experience and what are the lessons you've learned and taken from parastatals into private business? What I never lo lose sight of and I, I would like to counsel anybody and everybody who is involved with public enterprises, so-called parastatals. Don't forget that these uh, quasi-business entities or quasi-government entities mm -hmm are designed to undergird the, eco the economy. Mm -hmm. They are not there to make profits. Of course, they are not there to make losses either. They are there to deliver a job of work, to make sure that we have the technology, to make sure that we have the services, mm -hmm. etc., cost effectively, reliably, and safely. Yeah. So that is very, very important about public enterprises. I think somehow somebody needs to refocus the nation uh, on public enterprises and their role in the mm -hmm. economy. Don't make a mistake mm -hmm. of privatizing public enterprises. By all means, bring in private mm -hmm. participation. I think that's where the, the thing is. Mm -hmm. Put in good governance, empower boards, mm -hmm. make sure that uh, boards that you put in place are mature and have business and management experience so that they will understand right. the, the boundaries between uh, non-executives and executives who run the business on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. as opposed to people who supervise the, 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 the running of the business. Transformation in South Africa right now and some people feel that not enough has been done to democratize the economy of this country. What do you think? Transformation is about taking an entity from one point to a better one. Mm. You know, almost in the same manner as the process of metamorphosis. It must take you to a better state. Businesses must benefit from transformation. Mm. Uh, if you transform, you don't do that at the expense of, 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 of success and excellence. Mm. You do this in order to achieve success and excellence. It's a topic that we can uh, engage in for quite a, mm. a, a long time, but it is an imperative of business. Every successful and progressive company is involved in one way or the other in transformation. Mm -hmm. People here take transformation as if it's a replacement of whites by blacks and you're bringing in blacks and women who do not have the competence and so on. No, it is about making sure that we take advantage of all our resources and we make ourselves all the better for it.